In this tutorial, we'll look at picking inventory for FBA shipments. There are many benefits to using SKU Stack to pick your FBA shipments. Here are several of them. 1. SKU Stack lists the products in order of bin location. This roadmap makes the picking process more efficient. 2. FBA product labels can be printed at the time of picking. 3. Picking progress is logged, which allows the back office to monitor the progress. If a shipment is not being picked because there is no inventory available, the back office can split the shipment so that you can send what is available. 4. Items with problems can be flagged, alerting the back office immediately. 5. Kits can be assembled during the picking, directly from SKU Stack. Let's begin by demonstrating how to pick a shipment containing a simple, non-kit product. If you have multiple warehouses, be sure that your SKU Stack is set to the same warehouse as the Ship From warehouse selected on the shipment. If it is not, you will be unable to retrieve the products on the shipment. Scroll over to the FBA shipment module. Press on the search icon. Select search by ID and enter the ID of a shipment. Please note that only shipments that are in a working status can be picked in SKU Stack. You can use the Seller Cloud shipment ID or the Amazon shipment ID. Press go. The shipment pick list will load and display the products and the quantity to pick. The products will load based on the alphanumeric order of the bin names. This creates an efficient roadmap for picking the items. Scan or tap a product. The product's quantity to pick will display here, along with the picked progress bar. Start scanning units of a product to add quantity to the picked count. You can also key in the quantity using the keypad, or use the arrows to raise or lower the picked quantity. Then scan the bin barcode, or key in the bin name. As a shortcut, you can just tap on the suggested bin name to select it and load the pick quantity. Press Pick, and the FBA pick list will be updated with the pick quantity. You can swipe the product to the left to print labels. Here, you can print product labels directly to a printer that has been configured with SKU Stack. Printers are configured in the printer settings. Now go back and pick the rest of the shipment. When all products are picked, the shipment progress bar will be marked as complete, and the shipment can be marked as shipped. Now let's discuss picking kits for an FBA shipment. In Seller Cloud terms, a kit does not refer to a bundle of products that come prepackaged together from a vendor. Rather, a kit is comprised of components purchased individually from a supplier. The merchant then bundles the items together. Because the inventory is purchased and stored at the component level, and the selling SKU being shipped out is the kit parent SKU, you will need to move the inventory quantity from the kit components to the kit parent before shipping it out. This way, SellerCloud will know that these components have left the warehouse. Let's give an example to demonstrate this point. Let's say you are sending a kit comprised of a camera and a case. Each component has a quantity of 10 in your warehouse. Suppose you want to send 10 kits to FBA. If you simply enter the kit parent SKU on the shipment and send it to FBA, a quantity of 10 will remain on each component in your warehouse because nothing informs Seller Cloud that the component units were removed. By assembling the quantity onto the parent, the quantity of 10 on each SKU will transfer to the parent. Then, the inventory will be removed properly from the warehouse when the FBA shipment is shipped. Inventory is moved from the kit children to the parent by means of a kit assembly. Kits can be assembled during picking, without leaving the FBA shipments module. Here's how to do it. Search for the shipment. The kit parent will load. Swipe the parent to the left to see the option to assemble. The amount of kits to assemble defaults to the amount required for the shipment. 
press go. The components will display for picking. Tap on a component and pick the quantity needed for the amount of kits you are assembling. Now go back and pick the rest of the kit components. When you are finished picking, tap on the assemble icon. Press yes to begin the assembly. Now you have a choice to assemble the kits to a real bin or a temporary bin. We'll choose the temporary bin by pressing no. Once the kit is assembled, you can go back to the shipment and pick the kit parent. As you can see here, you can pick the quantity from the bin into which you assembled it. For more information on picking FBA shipments, please visit wiki.skewstack.com.